And when we screen for lung cancer, that means we detect it earlier, and that means that we can cure lung cancer. The problem we have with lung cancer is it presents late. What does that mean? Well, that means that the cancer has probably been inside our bodies for even a number of years and sadly might spread to either lymph glands or nodes in the middle of the chest or sometimes even to other organs around the body. Now, in my clinic, what I find is on average seven out of 10 people have incurable lung cancer when they first present to us. And that's because lung cancer has spread. So can we do anything about this? Well, yes, we can. We can screen for lung cancer. And when we screen for lung cancer, that means we detect it earlier. And that means that we can cure lung cancer. So can we screen for lung cancer? Well, yes, we can. And what we do is something called low-dose CT screening. And this uses a CT scanner. So what's a CT scanner? Well, a CT scanner looks like a sort of giant polo mint. And what happens is you lay on a bed and you go through the scanner very quickly for a lung scan. The lung scan itself gives the doctors lots of images to look at, which can detect the smallest of lung cancers. And it's incredibly good at this. So it will detect 19 out of 20 lung cancers. And the most important thing is that when we use CT screening, seven out of 10 patients we detect have curable lung cancers. So this means that the majority of people that undergo CT screening have curative treatments for a lung cancer. UCLH is quite famous in CT screening in that it has run two of the key trials in Europe showing how CT screening should be performed. The first trial looked at how we invite people up for CT screening. The second trial called SUMMIT is in fact the largest European CT screening trial. And we have screened over 13,000 people in North Central and East London. So how we work out who to screen for lung cancer is we try and work out a person's risk. In lung cancer, what we try and find out is those most at risk of lung cancer. So how do we do that? Well, we do this by asking you questions, asking you questions about perhaps your smoking history, and we look at people's age, and then sometimes other characteristics such as your body mass index or family history. And with all this information, we get a score. And if you achieve a certain level, then you would be invited for CT screening of your lung. Many people worry about screening and whether there are any downsides to screening. In lung cancer screening, as with most other screening techniques, there are probably two main downsides. The first is called overdiagnosis. So what does overdiagnosis mean? Well, actually, this means that the scan detects a lung cancer, but in fact, this lung cancer might be very slow growing. So us finding it and treating it may actually expose you to treatments that you don't need. The second worry is often the radiation dose. But low dose CT screening is in fact exactly that. It's low dose radiation. And now with the new modern scanners that we use across the NHS, this means that you get about the same radiation dose, for example, as flying to New York or perhaps living in an area made with granite buildings for a week. So you can see the dose is actually extremely low and we believe it's safe and justifies doing low dose screening for lung cancer detection. So with screening, what we want to do is to detect lung cancer early. And this means that we can give potentially curative treatments. 
So what are those treatments? Well, the most common and actually probably the best treatment is surgery. So what we would look to do is to remove as little lung as possible. And when we do this, we take out the lung cancer. But there are other treatments as well, such as radiotherapy. There have been lots of huge strides made in radiotherapy with new techniques, which leave very little damage to the lung and also get great results, potentially curing many of the lung cancers. And finally, if your cancer isn't curable, there have also been huge strides made in other therapies. So many new drugs can make people live much, much longer. Again, meaning that it's really important to detect lung cancer early.